But first, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, we crossed live to Canada for a chat with the brilliant Chris Carrier, CEO of Canadian cleaning firm Men in Kilts. Yeah, Men in Kilts were looking for more men in kilts, or rather, a Scotsman or woman in a kilt, to cross the Atlantic and take up their offer of a job. Well, the good news is... They found one! They found one! <laughs> he's Rory Dalglish from Musselburgh, and he's with Chris now in Alberta, Canada. <laughs> there they are. Uh, good afternoon, oh. boys. Hi, you guys. Hey, yeah. Now, Chris, they say the Mounties always get their man. A man called Rudy by the looks of things. Well, you know, I had a hard time initially pronouncing his name. It's a Gaelic name. And from my understanding, it's actually Rory. It's, yeah, exactly. I get, I get Rudy a little over here, but Rory is the name. It's a tough one. <laughs> and we are super excited to have him. Oh, it's amazing. And look at that backdrop as well. Rudy, you have moved fast to get yourself over there and we can kind of see why. It looks incredible. How's the jet lag? It's getting better now. Um, looking at these mountains, the fresh air really helps. It's fantastic <laughs> being out here and getting a whole summer of fresh air. I'm sure it'll be fantastic and uh, get back to normal pretty quickly. Oh, amazing. It looks so great. And Rudy, um, it sounds like you're half Canadian already. <laughs> I don't know about that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Very East Coast, I like it. But Chris, ultimately, how many people actually applied for the position? You know, thanks, Jennifer. There were literally hundreds of people, and we're still screening these people and looking for the right fit. Like I mentioned earlier, our values are so important to us, and Rory is a perfect match. He's a servant. He's, he's a great leader who's awesome, dedicated, and fun, and he really wants to... Bring smiles to the world one kilt at a time. Here's one thing that I was really uh, quite surprised, actually. When we hired him, I went out and I grabbed myself some bagpipes so that he could uh, play some for us. But I don't play bagpipes. He doesn't play them. <laughs> What a disaster! Yeah, sadly, that's not a skill all Scottish people have, is it? So, so if, if he can't play the bagpipes, what was it about Rudy that got him the job, Chris? What was that one thing that thought, yeah, he's the man? Well, have you seen this smile? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of the things. He's got the red hair, he's got the kilt, and he really loves to serve people. And that's what we do best at Men in Kilts. And Chris, does, is, is he a real Scotsman? Uh, yes, he is, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I know where you're going with that, Ewan. <laughs> Oh dear, that's going to be tricky for people when you're washing windows. I don't want to go down yeah, that route. But no. Rudy, what are your first thoughts about life in Canada? Are you enjoying it? Is it everything you'd hoped it would be? It's fantastic out here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see from the backdrop, being out in the mountains, the cities are beautiful, the people are wonderful. I absolutely love this country and I'm really glad to be out here and I'm working for Men in Kilts. It's incredible. What made you want to apply in the first place, though? Was it something you'd always wanted to do? Well, I just... Honestly, it was when I saw this company, I saw what they do with the kilts, I saw the attitude and the atmosphere they have around here, and that's what really pushed me to apply for it. I just think it looks really fun. Um, I love wearing a kilt at the best of times, so getting into this Monday to Friday is just fantastic. Ah, and, and Chris, amazing. one final question for you in the last 10 seconds. Is it all thanks to us here at STV2 <laughs> that you've got Rudy in your, um, in your workforce? Yeah, I have to give it to you, Ewan. I think it was just because of you, in fact, and I still haven't seen your application come through. <laughs> so what the heck? It, we do have to get, uh, owe a tremendous, great, uh, a tremendous amount of gratitude to you and Jennifer and everybody at SCTV. We got one awesome man in a kilt. There may be more. We'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> we are delighted. Thank you so much for chatting to us, and hopefully we'll stay in touch. Thanks, guys.